Hello viewers. Here is a Uniden 900 megahertz telephone. What we consider today the loud and clear series. I'm not sure if they had put that name on these yet uh, or not. Well, anyways, this was a telephone I had purchased a while ago and I got it as part of a lot of equipment. There was a couple other telephones in the lot that I was interested in. I think there was some Uniden Power Max 5.8s and something else I don't recall at the moment but it was a really cheap lot and I saw this in there I've been wanting one so I bought it and when I got it I was really disappointed with this telephone because it looked pretty nice in the pictures but it was absolutely disgusting when I opened up the box because the picture it wasn't the greatest it was kind of just like a picture of all the equipment from afar it didn't give any good close-up pictures and so this telephone was absolutely filthy the buttons in particular were were the worst it had like a brown coating of something on them and it wasn't like just a little bit of dirt it was so thick you could actually peel it off it was just terrible so it was it was one of those things where the thing was so bad Actually, the antenna was broken, too. So, it was one of those cases where the thing was just so bad. Um, I says, well, you know what? I'll just wait for another one to come along. And hopefully find one in better condition. I wasn't sure if this was going to be worth cleaning up or not. So, I put this thing aside, and I kept my eye out for another one. And a few weeks ago, another one showed up. Very cheap, so I got it. It hasn't showed up yet, because the shipping has taken 50 years in a day. But I was cleaning up the shop last night and I came across this thing again. And so I says, oh, well, I got another one coming. I'll just put this one in the parts bin in case I ever, you know, can use it. Because the, the parts in here, like the receiver capsule and such, are fairly standard to other 900 megahertz phones uh, from this era. So I was going to do that, but it wasn't settling well with me. I didn't want to have such a nice phone just deteriorating in my shop. So I went around and went forward with the refurbishing process. I didn't have a lot of time so I didn't do a video or anything like that but I did refurbish it and here it is and I'm really glad I decided to do that because it cleaned up great. It was a little bit hard to get a lot of the junk off of there but it cleaned up really nice even though it was never cared for in the sense that it was never cleaned it wasn't roughly handled or abused or anything like that. It looks like it had a relatively easy life aside from the excessive dirt. The antenna was poorly glued back together by somebody at one point or another. And I don't know what in the world happened to this antenna. It is so... it's cracked all over the place. And I mean I've seen them snap before. That happens all the time but this is pretty extensive damage but they glued it back together, which is, you know, okay, they could have done a much better job, but um, one of the interesting things I had to deal with here was they had used so much glue that the um, the wire inside the antenna was actually caught in the glue, and so I couldn't get the, couldn't pull the board out because the antenna was stuck, so I had to go in there and cut that out, and that was kind of interesting, but otherwise it was a fairly straightforward refurbishing process and I have to say I really like this telephone it's uh, it's just really neat because it's analog it's the the ergonomics on it are so nice it just fits perfectly into your hand it's comfortable to hold and the earpiece is great it cups around your ear blocks out all the background noise again very comfortable and the buttons are big easy to see they're backlit, which is nice. Not a lot of 900s, at least that I have, have the backlit buttons. The screen is, is really big and easy to see. Let's get out of here. Caller ID is, is easy to read. It does have an emergency uh, speed down button. I don't think there's anything programmed in there yet. So uh, that's that. The um, handset ringer is not anything to write home about, but the bass ringer is really neat. 
it's well the handset does actually have a a light up at the top there and the base the base uh, has the the lights up at the top there and it's got a variety of different ringtones on the base you can see the ring controllers here we have infinite range ring volume and it gets it's got a really phenomenal range it's literally infinite range ringer on off and then the ringer tone and then the visual ring can be just as well which is the lights on the on the bass so um, the ringer is super loud I'll just play it for you here at full volume I did measure it before it's just just shy of 105 decibels which is really quite loud I'll turn this down so it's not overloading on the video See how quiet it gets, goes all the way down to almost nothing. So, it's really nice to have such a wide range of, of uh, different tones there because if you happen to have a hearing loss, it's probably in a certain frequency range. And so to be able to set the ringtone to, to be at a frequency that you can still hear well is nice. Of course, all the ringtones sound a little bit strange, but you know the point of this phone is not really to have a nice, normal-sounding phone. It's a phone you can hear. So I'll call it up here and uh, let you see it ring because it's kind of cool. It's got the the lights on there when it rings. But actually, I'll take it off the base so you can see both uh, both lights ringing. Really, quite visible, honestly. And the handset just has the typical clatter and flicker ringtones. I suppose we can play through those as well. And off. The handset really isn't that loud. And uh, I've found that to be the case with the newer loud and clear phones as well. It's the bass ringer that's really nice and the the handset ringers are just average so I'm not really sure why they don't put a, a better ringer in the handset maybe they just figure elderly people don't carry their handset away from the base I don't know uh, but anyways so that's it this is uh, let's see what model number is this it's not on there. it is model uh, EZI 996 uh, I don't have the original battery in there right now, so I'm not sure what year it was manufactured, but I believe this would have been... Um, these were sold for a, a good amount of time. I think they were sold up into the mid-2000s. Probably came out mm, real late 90s or early 2000s, somewhere around there. Uh, when I get the other one in, I'll hopefully the original battery is in it, and then we'll have a better idea. But anyways, that's going to be it for this now. And just for those you curious, it takes a BT905. So, okay, thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.